I have been running an anti-aging nonprofit research and education group for 20 years. So I've had a chance to talk to the people doing the cutting edge work and become friends with them. I even lecture to 3,000 doctors at the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. Um, I don't have a medical degree. I, they just listen to me for some reason. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, and and there's th these are smart people who are actual doctors, just to be really clear. I'm a fantastic researcher, and I'm an event correlation engine, and I figure stuff out, and I try it, and it's pretty obvious if it works or not. Those guys are real healers. Yeah. And there's this knowledge transfer that happens. So when you get a chance to talk to 3,000 of them, 20 of them are going to come up afterwards and say, hey, I'm working on this stuff. You should know about it. Come to my lab and try it. I'm like, oh, yeah. And, and so that's, that's how it works. And what I wrote about uh, recently, what I had on Bulletproof Radio, was uh, the people who did the six, uh, let's see, six hands, whole body stem cell upgrade, we call it. So for four hours, um, they knock you out. They pull out a half a liter of bone marrow. Oh it actually doesn't hurt. Well, it, you're unconscious, right? Yeah, I've had it done while I'm conscious too. It's no, not. Right, really. It's not painful. It's just weird. Huh? You know, imagine that, like fingernails on a blackboard sound. Well, I'm not in love with that. Yeah, so we don't like that. But imagine that happening on your skeleton. Right? No, that doesn't sound good at it's all. It's creepy, but it doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like, there's a difference between real pain, like stubbing your toe hurts more yeah, than getting bone sure. marrow. Okay. But you're like, oh, what is that horrible sound? It was yeah. more like that. Okay, cringy. But I was asleep for this, yeah. so it didn't bother me. Cringy, that's the perfect word. <laughs> so uh, they took my stem cells Wait, from the bone marrow yeah. and from my fat and some other healing compounds. And then with the help of a neurosurgeon from Johns Hopkins named Marcella, uh, they put the stem cells in my cerebral spinal fluid along the inside of my spine, every joint in the body, every vertebra in the spine, face, hair, reproductive organs, and pretty much everywhere else you can get stem cells all at once. <laughs> And then what? Because, like, <laughs> so you've done that, which, first of all, kudos to letting people mess around with your spine. That's, that's the scariest thing for me, but obviously it's, it's working out. Have you found any, are there tangible results? Have you, how long have you been doing it? Let's start there. How long have you been doing this? How I've, many times? I've done that whole, whole body upgrade just once, but just I've once. had okay. four or five other stem cell treatments. Okay. And... I write about them. I interview the people who do them. I even have a video the first time I had stem cells injected in my junk without exposing anything <laughs> bad. Stem cells in my junk. That's uh, <laughs> your next book, by the way, I believe, right? That is the title of the... <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's, it's one of the things like, how do you do that on Facebook without getting in trouble? Yeah. So I'm wearing my stupid toe shoes or, or something, <laughs> and I'm, I'm laying in bed, and there's a blanket covering you know, the, the camera view, and then you, just, you see this needle come down, <laughs> and then I, I say to the, to the doctor, this is Amy Killen, who's yeah. been on the show, I go, so this is going to, you know, increase length, right? And, and she starts laughing. And she goes, no. And she sticks a needle in. And then my toes go, wee, just, just like that. And, and it's the funniest video I think I've ever done. I, I put it at the Bulletproof Conference. I showed people. Because, like, look, it was numb with lidocaine. I couldn't feel anything, really. Fair enough. But here's, here's the deal. When I'm 100, I'd still like to be a good lover. And I'm just taking proactive measures. And it's okay to, to admit to do that. 